Hey, it's Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. I wanted to show you in this video how to enter a bill in QuickBooks Online and how to do it the right way. Okay, so what do I, what do I mean by doing it the right way? Well, th there's a certain process you follow when you enter bills in QuickBooks and uh, you want to make sure that you follow this process. Okay, so the mechanics of entering the data is really not that difficult. And I'm going to show you two places that are common where you're going to do it. Uh, but it's what you put in the fields and what you enter that is very important. And I'll explain why here in just a second. All right, so the first way, so we're at the dashboard here. If we go to the quick create menu, all right, we see under vendors, we've got an option here for bill. All right, so we can go and enter a bill directly from the quick create menu. All right, or if you go over to the expenses option here and go to vendors, Right from the vendor list, you'll see there's an option to create bills, okay? So let's say that we're gonna create a bill for Books by Bessie, okay? When you click that, it's gonna automatically bring up all the information for Books by Bessie, okay? And here are the important points you wanna remember. All right, so this information is pre-filled. Uh, you wanna make sure you put in the terms. So let's say this bill is net 30, okay? Now here's the important thing, on the bill date, this is the date of the bill, all right? This is very, very important. This will default to today's date, but you wanna make sure that you put in the bill date, okay? So for example, if this was a bill date of May 31st, we wanna make sure we put that in, and here's why. In your financial statements, your profit and loss, now on an accrual basis, this will be included as a bill or as an expense in May, okay? But if you do it as of today's date, which most people do, June 25th, okay, it will show up as an expense in June. And we want to make sure we capture these bills in the right time period. Very, very important when you're running a business and looking at a profit and loss, you want to make sure that you get those dates correct. All right. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing is you wanna make sure that you put in the bill number, okay? QuickBooks calls it a bill number. You might see invoice number, uh, you know, something along those lines. And, and here's why this is important. Let's say that this bill number is 24561. Uh, the next time, what happens frequently, uh, especially in any type of business, is vendors sometimes will send multiple invoices. Uh, and it's the exact same one just you know for whatever reason well when you put in this bill number here and you save and close the invoice if you get this bill again in the mail or emailed or whatever the case may be and you put in the bill number again quickbooks will alert you and say hey this is the duplicate uh, bill number are you sure this is right okay because far too often i see clients that double pay invoices because they don't put in the bill number. So that's the second very important thing. All right, then you're gonna put in your account. And of course you can put in a description if you want in the amount. And if you are billing this to a customer, uh, you're, it's gonna be billable and you're going to assign it to a customer. Now, if you are not billing it to a customer, you would leave this unchecked and you would still choose a customer. And that way you can run reports to show how much of it, how much expenses you incurred for that particular customer. All right. Now you can also put a memo down here if you want, and you can also attach a copy of the original invoice if you'd like to, and you can also make it recurring. Okay. Two very important things to remember, the bill date and the bill number. All right. That'll do it for this video. Head on over to the QuickBooks University uh, where we have uh, desktop and online video training that will teach you everything you need to know about QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. And we have uh, a number of free resources over there. So head on over, qbuniversity.org.